Assalamu alaikum. I am Da Makhzumi and I'm here to show you the Holy Quran and how it can improve your life. Do you find it difficult preparing for the holy month of Ramadan? Do you wish that you could gain more from the holy month of Ramadan? Do you wish that you could gain more from the beginning of the holy month of Ramadan on spiritual level? Do you know that reading and reciting the Holy Quran can make a huge impact? The preparation process for the holy month is very important because this month is full with blessings and mercy that showers upon a Muslim from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, in order to increase your fair share in the feast of blessings and mercy, try preparing for the month of Ramadan beforehand so that the transition remains easy for you and you make the most out of it. So what should you be doing? Well, in Mafatih Jinan, there are daily prayers and supplications and du'as that are recommended for us to read day by day in the holy month of Ramadan. Those du'as and prayers are specifically for this holy month that can help build your spiritual soul, erase all your sins. In a matter of fact, each specific prayer and supplication has its own special benefits. For example, Imam Ali alayhi salam says, he who prays the first night the first day, the first night of the month of Ramadan, four rak'at, in the first verse he reads Alhamdu, and 15 times Surah Al-Ikhlas, Allah will give them thawab al-shuhada, which are the benefits of dying as a martyrdom, and he will erase their sins, and in the day of judgment, you will be rescued. What better can you ask more than that? By all means, try to remember to read those prayers and those supplications daily by day in the holy month of Ramadan, since they are full with many benefits. Now, what can we do that can better assist us with the preparation? One, have the right intention. Try to have the right intention preparing for the holy month of Ramadan. Everything you do and every good deed you complete, make sure it's only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Two, Get yourself into the habit of tasbih. Are you in the habit of using swearing words? So get yourself in the habit of tasbih to avoid yourself from using bad languages. When you start performing tasbih a month before the arrival of the holy month of Ramadan, by the time the month comes, you are in the habit of reciting tasbih. Three and lastly, Quran. So get out your Quran and start reading a chapter so that when Ramadan comes, you're used to reading a chapter every day. Taqabbal Allahu wa'amalakum wa'amurdhan mubarak.